My name is Jericho Whiting. I'm a wildlife ecologist here at the INL site. Tonight we're going to be talking about ways in which we monitor bats on the INL site. The INL site is important oh for bad. migrant and resident bats that occur in southeastern Idaho. The INL site has suitable habitat for bats for winter hibernacula, like in some of these caves, and also during the spring and summer. Some of the water sources at facilities provide critical habitat for bats in um, insect resources and water, and then also roosting habitat. Well, bats are important for a variety of reasons. Um, they represent a large portion of biodiversity. 16% of the biodiversity of mammals in Idaho are bats. And they're very important for ecosystem function. They recycle nutrients, and they're very important to the agricultural industry because of their voracious consumption of agricultural pests. And recent estimates place um, bats at around $23 billion in their contribution to agriculture. Conservation uh, issues for bats are really in two broad categories. One are the historical ones that they've always faced, habitat loss, cave destruction, vandalism, uh, people just not having a bright view of bats and killing them. But there's some emerging threats that bats are facing. Among those are white nose syndrome, which is a newly introduced fungal disease that affects hibernating bats. And it, it was first introduced in New York State in 2006. And the Fish and Wildlife Service estimates that it's killed anywhere between five and seven million bats so far and the disease is sweeping west. It hasn't reached Idaho yet, but the assumption is that eventually it will reach Idaho. On the INL site, we monitor bats in uh, four different ways. First of all, we count the number of bats that hibernate in the caves that occur on the INL site. Secondly, we capture bats in mist nets at caves and other important habitat features. And with that, we can determine the, the species of bats and we take other vital measurements of the bats. Um, and where they occur during certain times of the year on the site. We also have acoustical detectors that are set out at certain habitat features at caves or at water sources near facilities that record the species of bats that use those resources. Basically these uh, acoustical detectors record the echolocation calls of bats. We also have acoustical detectors that are, we attach to the top of our vehicles and have several driving transects across the INL site that allow us to get a better understanding of the distribution and the movements and use of the INL site by multiple bat species.